Hi, welcome to another video about using ShopCam. I'm a beginner um, and this video is about sharing my experiences um, and not to provide advice to people. The theory is that if I take you on this journey and you get a shot cam, um, you can learn from my mistakes basically. I'm a member of the Northern Territory Field and Game Club. Um, I'm going out there and shooting the various stands. This one's about trap three. Um, it'll cover three sessions. Like a lot of people, you know, you're shooting and you one day you hit it and the next day you can't hit it and you can't work out why. So um, we're having a fair bit of trouble with trap three. Uh, these three sessions will show you sort of like what we learned along the way. So this first section is showing you basically um, our hold points. We're comfortable with our stance, not perfect obviously, and our mounts, again, not perfect, but happy with that. And experimenting a bit with um, uh, swing through method. I've watched a couple of Ben Hutzweight videos and they sort of like make sense. And I've been trying a few of the things that he shows. First thing you'll notice is that the reticle falls so when i mount the gun's been pointing up a little bit too high and then i have trouble spotting the target and then i have to move quite quickly so the, this graphic here sort of like shows the angle so i'm coming from underneath it and trying to catch up with it and then i'm trying to get to a point where there's the right amount of lead so you, you can see that you, there's too much going on and that's what makes this particular shot a little bit hard so my theory is that the hold point um, makes that particular shot too rushed. This second one is about um, getting the gun really close to the trap. And the, the thing about this was that, um, like if I, if I slow it down a little bit, you can see that the lead is too short and, um, and I'm too rushed and you've got to go really fast and then almost stop. And so then that makes that difficult. So the extra gun movement and speed makes it even more rushed. So, um, so then we're starting to try with a hold point that's somewhere a bit more in the middle. Uh, this particular one, the gun mounts not very smooth. So we've got not enough lead. So the thought is, you hear it quite often, um, give it a foot and if you miss, give it another foot. Now this one happens to hit, so you can see here that I'm going frame by frame and you can see where the shot goes. The first bit you can see actually is the wad and then you can actually see the, the shot. So I'm probably about a good oh, half a metre in front of that and then I hit it with the left hand side of the pattern. So frame by frame there's about nine frames in there, that means it's about 30 odd metres away. Again, this mount tends to drop, but you can see here that there's too much lead. So I've added too much, and that's about a metre. Um, that was a wasted shot in the second one. And again, you know, trying to give it even more lead when we're not really sure about it. Um, as you can see here, it's, you know, it's just too, too much lead. And again, even more lead. And again, another wasted shot. Yeah, so the conclusion here was um, miss out of foot, uh, not always. But if you don't know where you're missing and you're missing too far out in front and you can't work that out, that does make it difficult. However, this first session, we actually, or I actually hit one of the targets. So that gives me the distance that I need to look at and need to focus on. So that gave me a starting point. So then we're starting to look at the second session. So this first shot, um, the mount was perfect. So that's in future what I'm gonna try to aim for. Um, but you can see the lead is way too much. So I'm missing that out in front. So the second one um, was very close and we'll just show you a little bit how close that was. Now this third shot, I would have thought would have been under, but it actually hit. 
So, and then I've seen the distance I need for the lead and there I repeat it. Now, at that particular point, that's where I would stop. The reason I would stop there um, is based on some advice from around the club. Um, Bart, one of the legends around the club, uh, his advice is to, um, when you practice, you shoot three shots in a row and, uh, and make a kill on the first shot. He also talks about visualizing the target and what you don't want to, what he suggests is you, what you don't want to do is shoot, miss, 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 and then hit, and then say, oh, I hit it. He said, because you're practicing missing more than you're hitting. So I stopped it there. And so for the next session, I'm looking for three hits in a row with the first shot. So this session I've specifically gone to novice and I'm specifically trying to shoot trap three and I'm going out there focusing on my hold point, my swing and also visualizing that lead distance. So the first one, probably the hold point's not ideal and there's a bit of wiggling around but here you can see I've got exactly the right lead. So just to prove it wasn't a fluke out comes the second one, and that's also a hit. And again, on the third one. Now there's a bit too much movement there from the actual hold point for what I like, but that's something I can work on. So that's the end of this video. It's about a novice trap three. It's about using the shot cam and what we learned over three sessions with the shot cam, but there's, you gotta bear in mind, there was a few other sessions where um, we were trying without the shot cam. So we had at least a little bit of experience with that. Hopefully the next video is um, with Bart uh, from the club who uh, does teach people. So we're gonna try and incorporate his teaching of me, which is great, <laughs> um, and the shot cam and see if we can put some videos together. So ultimately we'll have a, a bit of a collection of all the stations around uh, the club and then so anyone who's new can have a little bit more of an idea of where to start. So thanks, like and subscribe. See you next time.